Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Reyes from the Philippines reporting for Room Now at the virtual ACR 2021. Today, I wanted to talk about abstract number 363 by the group of Dr. Dennis Padabni, which looked into the disease course and burden of patients with axial spondyloarthritis enrolled in the PROOF study. PROOF was a real-world pers prospective observational study conducted in a number of rheumatology centers around the world. Um, these included both radiographic and non-radiographic axial spa patients. Results of their study show that both groups had comparable disease burden and treatment over five years. Some important points to take note of in their findings um, is that it is consistent with previous studies, um, number one, um, for the radiographic axial spa group, majority were men and had elevated CRP levels, and number two, extraarticular manifestations such as IBD and psoriasis were more common among the non-radiographic axial spa group. So I'd just like to pose a few questions um, with regards to, to this study. So how does this result add to what we already know in terms of axial spa management? And will the distinction between radiographic and non-radiographic axial spa matter in terms of treatment outcomes? Since the study presented real world data, it is more reflective of what we see in the clinics. Regular screening for extraarticular involvement and non-radiographic axial spa, for example, can lead us in choosing the appropriate treatment for these groups of patients. Also, by profiling our patients, monitoring treatment response can be less of a challenge, and probably earlier interventions can be initiated. Follow me on Twitter at Rumorampa and tune in to roomnow.com for more coverage of the ACR Convergence 2021. Thank you.